Hey everybody, this is Justin again here with another quick Adobe tutorial. And this time what I wanted to talk about was actions in Photoshop and automation. So uh, what we're kind of addressing here is uh, something I see a lot of my students spend a lot of time on is just kind of going through and, and color correcting or levels correcting or, or file saving for web and adjusting image sizes over and over and over again on pictures. Let's say if you wanted to create um, like a gallery online of, of photos or uh, product. Product page is a great example of this, where you'd have to resize a bunch of stuff that you took with the DSLR. Like this photo, for example, has a couple of issues. Like uh, if I wanted to put this on the web, the image size of this is way too big to put on the web. This is 68 meg and it's 6,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels at 300 resolution. That's huge. That's way too big. Uh, so I would want to reduce the size of this. So what I would do is go through and you know change the size of this thing. I want to change this to 72 resolution and change this to maybe you know I don't know 800 pixels or something like that uh, so that it would fit on the web. Okay. So but imagine if I had a whole gallery full of these and I wanted to do you know in this case I've got 500 of these photos. I would have to do this every time. And I see people doing this, and it drives me insane. Let alone if I had to adjust the uh, the levels or something like that. So I'm going to show you a better way to do it. Okay, and this is with this little play button here, the actions panel. If that is not there by default, window actions, and open that up. Okay, so your actions panel. Here's what you get. You get a bunch of default actions that are more or less useless. You can try these out if you want. Um, what it is though is is it's just a bunch of different things. Uh, kind of Photoshop steps all recorded out and automated. That's the whole point of this. I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder first though and I'm going to call this resize. Um, I think it's a good idea to create a new folder for this stuff so that you're not dumping it into the default actions which gets confusing. So here's what you do. This is relatively straightforward. You just click this little create new action tab over here. And I'm going to call this again something descriptive resize for web gallery. Be definitely be uh, verbose with these when you, when you talk about these. Uh, what's kind of cool about this is you can actually tie this to an F key of some sort, which does save a lot of time. Uh, if you're punching a, a, a play button over and over again, you get a little bit bored, so that the F key can kind of help. So you can tag it to an F key. You can give it a color if you really wanted to for whatever reason. Some people like to color code. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hit record here. Okay, and here's what this does. With this little red button is now on my record button. This is recording everything I'm doing here, nearly everything. If I go to image, image size, and I do what I was just talking about, I change this resolution. 72 and I change this to like 800 pixels wide which is still pretty big but now it's one megabyte instead of 68 I'm gonna click OK and recorded that image size right and let's just say for instance I'm gonna hit command 0 here blow this up my levels were a little low in these shots let's do image adjustments levels and I'm gonna crank the levels a little bit let's say if I wanted to get a more uh, kind of a uh, edgy tone out of this. I'm going to crank up the highs and crank down the lows and I'll have a super saturated photo here. Okay, Levels, it recorded that. And let's just say I wanted to do a little save, uh, save this for the web or just save it out as something in particular. You could do export save for web which is uh, kind of they moved it into this export version here. This is the kind of the new uh, Photoshop CC 2015. Or just save as, whichever you want to do, it'll record it. So let's do save as. I'm going to save this on the desktop in a folder. I made a folder for this called Picks for Web. So I'm going to save it inside there. Now I got a bunch of stuff in there uh, that I was just doing with these a second ago. So let me go ahead and just delete these out of here so I don't get confused. So let me grab all those and delete them. And now I'm going to save these, this into those folders. So uh, JPEG, save. And again, whatever quality I want on that compression wise, I'm going to click OK. And now uh, I'm going to turn off my action. Okay, so this this recorded all this image size level saved. Now here's the point of this. Okay, so I'm going to close this image. I'm actually going to delete this out of this folder too. Uh, I'm going to keep clearing this folder out so that it doesn't uh, uh, spit any errors while I'm doing this. Okay, so let me grab a bunch of photos. Okay, so let's do my derby pics. And I'm going to grab, let's say I wanted to resize, I'm just going to grab some random ones from here to here, these photos. I'm going to pop these into Photoshop. There we go. And it'll open them all up one at a time. And again, these are big photos, so it's going to take a second or two. Okay, so now that these are open, or opening anyway, what would normally take 
you know, a couple of minutes if I had to go through, or well, probably more than a couple of minutes, if I had to go through and do image, image size, and levels on each one of these, it would take a while. Here's what you can do. You go up to, to the action you just created, and you hit the play button. Boom. Look at that. It's done. All that stuff is done. My levels were changed. Okay. This is now also saved. The image size is different. If we look at my image size here, right? Bang, 800 by 533, levels are changed. And if I look in this folder that I created on the desktop, okay, I got my desktop, pics for web, bingo. It created this file, one click, okay? Now, again, here's one thing that I wanted to show you is I, I neglected to add a close function. because I would like it to close that photo too, so I can just go one photo at a time, zip, 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 okay? So um, I can go back in. This is a good point to illustrate. You can actually add too. If you forgot to add something into an action, you can go right to the last uh, last uh, command you performed, and you can hit the record button. And I can put one more in there. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to do a, con a command W on this or Control W on PC, and it's going to close that out. And it pops in my close there. Okay, I'm going to hit stop. So now, each one of these, if I just now go back to my resize for web and hit play, bingo. There we go. So look how fast that is. It does all this stuff for me. And there's you can put endless amounts of things into these actions. And so, again, this is just a huge time saver. All those photos, it actually took longer to open those now than for me to process them. If I look in this folder, desktop, there we go. We've got my pics for web. Bingo. There they are. Look at the file sizes on those. Nice and small, easy to upload to whatever gallery I want. Uh, a lot smaller than 60 megabytes a piece. Now, that's actually the slow way. I'm going to show you the faster. I'm going to show you fast, faster way, and then the fastest way to do this. Okay, so that that's okay. That way is okay if you're processing, you know, let's say 10, 12 photos, something like that. Let's say I wanted to process a whole lot more photos than I want to process 150 or 200. Okay, there's a faster way in Photoshop. Now you have to have this action already made. That's the kicker here. Uh, but once I've made the action, I can go to File, I can go to Automate, and I can go to Batch. And what batch will let me do, check this out, resize. This is leaning on the action I just created. Resize for web gallery. What's my source folder? Okay, so I can choose a folder that it's coming from. I want to choose my Derby photos. So let's do Derby pics, CCRD. Bingo, choose this folder. And now I'm going to choose a destination. Now there's 500 photos in there, so this is going to be way too many. But uh, I'm going to choose my destination folder, my pics for web choose that here we go I'm gonna click OK and now I just walk away there's 500 and some odd photos in here and now I can go do whatever I want I can while this is processing I'm not touching the keyboard I can walk away I can get a cup of coffee I can come back when this thing is done and this is dumping these these files if we look inside this folder while it does this this is dumping these files into my folder, my Pix4Web. Well, see, as we as we go, bingo, it's chucking those in there. Levels, image size, closing the files for me. Done. Okay, now this is going to take way too long, 5500. Uh, let me go ahead and hit escape on that and, and uh, stop my action because that would take way too long for this tutorial. You don't want to see all that. So that, like I said, that's the faster way is that file automate and you got your batch once you've created your action. But that's not even the fastest way. That's I'm lazy or as we like to say in this industry, efficient. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, but I, again, I know I'm going to be doing this. I know I'm going to be taking a lot more photos at these places. Uh, I want to save myself even more time. File, automate. It's the ultimate here. Droplet. Create droplet. Droplets are great. I'm going to create a droplet. And I'll show you what this is here. I'm going to choose a place to save it. I'm going to put it right on my desktop, and I'm going to call it Pix Resize for Web. Okay, it leans on my Resize for Web action here. I'm going to choose a destination folder, Pix for Web. It remembers my settings. Okay, and now I'm going to click OK. Now nothing happens that ostensibly that we can see. Here's what it did: it created this. This is a standalone app file, or on PC, it'll be an EXE file. I'm going to show you what this does. I'm going to even close Photoshop. I'm, I'm just, again, I'm, I'm, I'm efficient here. I got a bunch of photos I need to process. I want it to be quick. I'm going to take the folder full of photos that I just transferred over, Derby Picks. Let's grab the same ones. There's my picks. All I'm going to do, grab this folder. So you grab a whole folder full of images drag and drop right on top of that droplet and now I leave watch what it does opens Photoshop for me I don't even have to open Photoshop I don't even have to click the icon 
this thing does everything for me. It is now processing my photos, image size, levels, close, save into a folder, all in one click. So you can hopefully, if you are an efficient individual like I am, you can see the value of this is that anything that you perform more than three steps on for more than four or five photos, this can save you a massive amount of time. So what I would do is just encourage you to try to think uh, any time at all that you find yourself doing a bunch of, of steps over and over again that you're doing to one photo after another to try and set up an action instead and save yourself some time. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so again, if you ever have seen anything in particular that you'd like to, to have me make it to, to, into a tutorial, you can just email me. It's justincussman at gmail.com and I'll do my best to get that up for you as quick as I can. All right, have a good one.